Next question is from Dina Larson. On a recent episode, you guys talked about how a pound of muscle burns approximately 50 extra calories, but I recently read that this is a myth and a pound of muscle only burns an extra f uh, 7 to 15 calories. Can you clarify which is true? I'm so glad you mm. put this question in here, Sal. And this is, uh, you know, it's been a while since I got fired up about the, the fitness space and how much it annoys the fuck yeah. out of me. This feels like a gotcha moment. Yeah, this is the this is the thing that I can't stand about us, us as a whole, as a, as a fitness space, is that we get into this pissing contest of who is more right, and we're, and which, okay, there's also the other side of that. I do appreciate, you know, the the debate and then studies and that are disproving other studies and us growing and learning. And so I can appreciate some of it, but where I'm very careful about how I present information is that the the desired outcome is to actually help people, right? The desired outcome is to get people to move in the right direction. And so what I don't want to do is I don't want to overwhelm people all the time with what the latest scientific study proved or proved wrong or proved right if it's not going to really help my client. This is an example of this. This is an example of you can read like a, a ton of different research around this that like will disprove that. And I'm telling you firsthand experience from training tons and tons of people that when you put on, okay, three to five pounds of muscle, someone, they are able to eat a ton more calories than what before. And by a ton more, I mean like hundreds of more calories, not 10 or 15 more calories. They can eat a lot more. Now, what I don't know for sure is if that is just because of the lean body mass that they built, three pounds of muscle. I'm not sure what is good. And I think it's very um, arrogant for anyone to claim that they know either. The metabolism is one of the most complex things. Metabolism, gut, brain, universe. Those are like the fucking part of the hardest things that we have tried to figure out and we're still and learning. Women. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's <laughs> five right yeah, there, yeah, thanks, right? Justin. I had to that in there. <laughs> yeah, scoring points with our female I know, there, I, you are today. You're on one. So. <laughs> hey. those, no, those are, those, these are the things that we're still learning a ton about and you know, then what ends up happening is people real, go, oh, it's only seven calories, so why would I care about putting putting on five pounds of muscle to my body, it's only going to mean I can eat 35. It means what I can have a bite it more. Do, it doesn't work. So there's two things here we need to pay attention to. Number one, okay, if it speeds up your metabolism. Okay. So whether it's 15 calories, 50 calories, adding muscle means you burn more calories. That's a fact. But also here's number two. Okay. There's a lot going on in the process of sending the signal to build muscle. There's a lot going on. Part of that is telling your body you need more calories, black and white, because you have more muscle tissue. But another part of that is telling your body you don't have to be as efficient with calories. There's a lot of energy, call it what you will, for lack of a better term, energy waste that happens when your body doesn't feel like it needs to conserve every single calorie. You could take someone and add no muscle to their body and get their body to burn more calories through changing their sleep, through lifting weights, through making them healthier. You'll see that their body just burns more. You could change someone's hormones and have their body burn more calories or less calories without a necessary change in body mass. I've observed this time and time again. I could take someone, not have them lose muscle uh, yet, they will eventually, but not have them lose muscle and have them uh, their bodies start to slow down their caloric burn. Your body becomes more or less efficient with its calorie burn or calorie storage based upon the signals that it receives. So it's actually more of a multi-pronged approach. Lifting weights tells your body to build more muscle. Is that alone going to speed up your metabolism? Probably not. You also need to feed yourself a little bit more. Now this is telling your body, hey, it's okay to become less efficient with calories because we got calories coming in. The third thing is let's not do things that make our body feel like it needs to store calories because it's under stress. In other words, don't avoid sleep. Make sure you get good sleep because when you avoid sleep, you're stressed. Now your body thinks it needs to hold on to calories. So get good sleep, have good relationships. Your hormone profile needs to be pretty good or healthy. That typically is a reflection of your lifestyle. When that's all happening, your body becomes looser with how it uses calories. It actually, the studies have shown it'll burn more calories just to maintain your body heat. And you'll and that right there will burn sometimes hundreds of calories more every single day. And I'll back Adam up. I've seen this happen uh, so often and so consistently that it's a rule. I could speed someone's metabolism up every single time by applying those things. Every single time. It's not only that. They're, they're also teasing out. I mean, this is when we get into arguing over semantics, which it annoys the shit out of me. It's like, 
okay, if someone added five pounds of muscle, so the body is always going to adapt, right? It's always going to respond to whatever signal you're sending to it to get better, improve, or go the other way, an atrophy. If you've done the right work eating correctly and training and increasing your training volume to actually add three to five pounds of muscle, there's also that extra volume that you're having to train in order to keep that muscle. Because if you stop training that volume, that muscle would atrophy. So then there's also going to be more calories that are burnt in your workout. But they're teasing that out because that's movement, right? right. So they're, not, they're teasing out that you have to move more in order to keep those or lift more in order to keep those uh, that muscle in there. They're looking at just what is muscle using. Right. Muscle is only using, based off these this new research, 7 to 15 calories more a day. And we've been telling people it's this 50. Well, what about the work that that person has to continually do now in order to maintain that new muscle mass that they have built on their body. Yeah, you got to bring that into yeah, consideration. And this is just a very simplistic black and white view of a very complex mm -hmm. uh, thing like metabolism. Like we all know, common sense, okay? We all know somebody who's 150 pounds, not a lot of muscle, not a lot of body fat either, and they can eat three times as much as your other friend who's 230 pounds and seems to gain body fat uh, all the time uh, very easily. What's going on? The fatter person probably actually has more lean body mass than the person who's skinny. So there's a lot more going on here. But here's the fact. This is actually what matters. Okay. This, this, these, the, you know, studies that show, oh, it's this many calories, that many calories. Okay. Th that doesn't matter. Here's what matters. Building muscle and doing the things that encourage muscle building, speed up the metabolism. That's right. the bottom line. If you want a faster metabolism, which will make staying lean easier um, in a modern world where food is accessible, where we're sedentary all the time so we don't, and we're busy, so we don't have the time to go and do tons of cardio all the time. If we want to have a fast metabolism in that context, yeah. then try to build muscle. That's the bottom line. The reason line. why I hate this stuff is because what this also could, the person who's good with math would go, wait a second, why should I put all this effort into trying to build two pounds of muscle when I know that actually 25 jumping jacks burns the same amount yeah, of calories? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It Instead of me, so I'm not going to go lift weights anymore because my trainer told me that it speeds my metabolism. He's wrong. Yeah, 30 calories? Yeah, I could just stand I could, while I play video yeah, games. Yeah, I could literally just <laughs> yeah. do 30 crunches and 25 jumping jacks, burn more calories per day, and not have to stress about... No, see, that's what I don't like about stuff like this mm -hmm. is when we get into these pissing contests of who's more right... The truth is this, like if you if you build muscle, if you put if you go through a muscle building program where you add three to five, I promise you, yeah. go do it and tell me if you think you're eating more calories now than what you mm. were before.